Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh. Basham Yahweh Shem Basham Yahweh. But that's the Allah, the Son, the Elder, Paul, the Great Millstone. For the teachings of the Scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the Sisir Akim across the world. Now this is the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-four. And um, yeah, last time I actually made a mistake because I said verse one until verse four was called basically the loss of divorce. Law of divorce, yeah, laws of divorce, right? But it was actually first one until five. I didn't even pay attention to that. But yeah, so at first five, it starts with sundry laws, which is miscellaneous laws. So, of course, left the word out, wait. Right, so it says uh, sundry law, or sundry, of various kinds, several. And here it says basically the same thing also. Miscellaneous, which is various, varied, different, mixed, diverse, assorted. Right. So going back to over here. Verse 5, which is the rest of the laws of divorce. When a man had taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war. Neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer up his wife, which he had taken. Why? Cheer up your wife. Why? Because if you don't do it, she's going to commit adultery. Because females, they love attention. That's why they dress like that. And then they say, it for me, shut the fuck up. You see, you're ir you're getting, I'm getting irritated already in the morning. Shouldn't do that. Because yeah, I, I get tired of these lies. I, I just hate it. I just hate their stupid answer. Oh, I'm straightening my hair because it's easy. Shut the fuck up. You find it ugly and you don't want to walk around like that. Your hair is short. You look like a boy. And you don't want to. You want to look like a white girl. And you want to have your cheek red. You know, your cheeks in your face. That's why you make it red. And uh, that's what it is. That's what it is. You don't like it because you fucking hate it. And that's why your son is bald. And when you get a mixed breed child, that's why your child has his, the son has his full hair. And you don't straighten the female, your daughter hair, if she's so-called mixed up. But if she's a, a Jake, like so-called pure Jake, then you will straighten her hair. Because she hate that shit when you see it on sight. You want to kill it. You want to burn it with fire like a spider. You're afraid of it and you want to kill it. Just like how the KKK sees you. He sees the jig man, actually, not you. He sees you as a fuck toy, but he, the female. But he sees the jig man as a spider that he wants to kill. He's disgusted by it, and he wants to slap it with a slipper or a shoe. Just kill it. Burn it with fire. That's what you feel. So stop lying to yourself, because uh, you're irritatingly lying to me, and that, that's just infuriating. So that's why I reacted. I, I didn't even expect for me to talk about this, because... Anyway, this is what your wife is going to do. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse... Let me see. Uh, wait. Right, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse... No, no, chapter 7, verse... Hmm, 33. But he that is married, carry it for the things of the that are of the world... How he may please his wife or else if you don't give her too much if you don't give her enough attention yeah she's not gonna really want to stick around because like I said that's why they dress like that because they want to be touched they want to be looked at they want to be they want to be they want to be the, f the center of they just want to be something man they just want to just be basically discriminate oh, fuck me with your eyes and just 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 it's just some bullshit man I, I I'm getting tired of this shit I'm getting tired of that shit I don't want to look. I don't want to. It's infuriating, even. But anyway, that's what's going to happen if you don't pay attention to your <laughs> that thing you call your wife. But anyway, but he shall be free at home one year, so that you can please your wife, and shall cheer up his wife, or else she's going to be a Debbie Downer. <laughs> And she's gonna make your life sour. He didn't give me anything. He he was working too much. <laughs> Bitch, you living in the house of millions. Yeah, but he's not around. What? 
And if he's too, if, if, if he's around too much, uh, get off me! You're fucking my blood like a vampire. Get off me! Oh, oh, get off me! You he, he, hanging around me too much. What? Uh, you don't know what you want. <laughs> That's why you should have multiple wives. And then she could fight for you. <laughs> Please give me the thing you're gonna need. Anyway, <laughs> that I deserve. And his wife, which he had taken. Sorry, cheer up his wife, which he had taken. So these are the laws of, well, divorce. But the reason also why I said it like that is because, well, this, when I read it the first time, like I said, I didn't pay attention. Wait, let me say it better, not the first time. I have read this chapter often, but I never went into like mm, subtitles. But when I read this, I was like, well, this is the divorce of the law. The, the law of the divorce, sorry. And these are different laws, but it concerns your wife. But I don't see no divorce here. So, yeah, that's why I said that. But, uh, well, then, you know, I would stand corrected, I think. Because this was then a part of that. But, 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 but anyway, let me go on. Now, it says here, you might think I'm <laughs> cranky this morning. Mm, no, 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 not really. I just, I just don't want to talk about like, the, the the whole lives of the female thing I don't want to I, I, I don't feel like it yeah so first five Deuteronomy chapter 24 first five uh, no it's the first yeah yeah first first six six what yeah right I just read five so it says it was which is subtitled miscellaneous laws or sundry laws or variant laws of the scriptures. No man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge. So what is oh wait, for he taketh the man's life to pledge. So what is pledging? Well, binding promise or agreement to do or forbear a promise or joint to the, 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 the meaning of pledge. A promise da, 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 da. okay so it goes into let me see biblical definition secure this is this is more this is more it security given for future payment that is exactly hundred percent right and this one they they just butchering it, butchering it because Esau is changing stuff. Let me see if I can find it here. Let me see. Here. This is the one that I was looking for. What did I do before that? Yeah, I just typed in here. No, no, no. That's not it. This one. A thing that is given as security for the fulfillment of a contract or the payment of a debt. Or, yeah, that's so. The payment of a debt. And is liable to forfeit. Forfeiture, forfeiture, through, in event of failure. So what this means, I don't even know how to pronounce this word, but I know what it means. <laughs> it means that, let's say you, let's say you're a carpenter, and you have your tools, right? So, you have all these tools, right? <clears throat> but you was doing a job at a person's house, a brother's house, or you know, in this case, it was an Israelite brother, his house. And then you messed up a few things. And now, you know, he says like, hey, listen, man, check this out, man. Um, he, I'm going to take your tools until you pay me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm a, basically as a pledge like that. And I'm going to take your tools unless you pay me. And if you, if you, because a lot of these tools are very expensive, especially nowadays, if you're a carpenter. Back in the days, I used to think the word carpenter meant that you are selling carpets. <laughs> English is not my first language, so I actually thought that. It's funny because uh, until this day, every time I read the word carpenter, I think of carpets. <laughs> it's it's in there. I don't know why. Carp carpet. That's that's what I think. Right, but yeah. So, yeah, you can't take his tools basically, and if he is a plumber or whatever type of work that he does you can't take his stuff as a pledge like a thing okay so it goes into no man so no man shall take 
the nether or the upper millstone to pledge and what is the nether or the upper millstone this one this thing sorry here the nether sorry this is the nether just like netherlands where, where i live nether which is uh, down like nether realm from uh, mortal kombat which is down nether definition something that is below low were in position low nether bottom right netherlands <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm a low ass nigga i'm actually a hollander they're netherlanders <laughs> but you could call me a netherlander if you want to still hollander holy land holland means holy land and uh, netherland means uh, lowland so it's it's lowland and it has two names just like how the America has, um, well, it doesn't have two names actually. You know, it's USA, United States of America, or just America, North America, or uh, what's the other one? Mm, Yankees, Yankees, the Yankees or something. I'm not sure if America was called the whole country, the whole so-called country was called that, but. Uh, I do recall that Jan Kees is from the Dutch that went there and then they started calling themselves Yan Yankees, right? There's a whole history behind that. I'm not trying to boast here about Netherlands. Fuck this country. Fuck America too. Fuck them all. They're Edomites, so they're devils to me. So, yeah. But this land does belong to the Mo Well, Jaffet actually, but then, then the Moors came here. But that, that that's another story. Millstone. So no, that no one shall take the, the nether millstone or the upper millstone to pledge. So this causes him to, let's say he has a, uh, let's say he has a payment at you. And then, you know, he, you, you want that money. So you take his only means of getting food and then you hold that back until he gives you the money that he owes you. Actually, he does owe you. But you cannot take his stuff wherewith he, he, he provides himself food. And I gave you the example of the tools. Let's say he needed to pay you or he didn't do a job right, right? But he needs to pay you. And then you confiscate his tools. Okay, how is he going to pay you back? He needs those tools to work. And also with the, with the nether, lamp, uh, nether millstone and the upper millstone, how is he going to eat? Because with the tools that's how he basically brings food into the into his house so you can't do that that's one of the laws right so that's what this means verse seven for he taketh the man's life so the rest of six why because you're taking the means of him that it gives him food and uh, water and stuff like that well not water in this case but it represents more than just the upper millstone and the nether millstone because it represents that you cannot take away his food in order to force him to pay you back you're gonna have to find another way that's the law ha dealing with Israelites for he take the man's life to pledge that's what you're actually doing you're 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 taking away his means of sustaining his life by taking away the way that he gets food which is taking his tools or you know literally taking his upper millstone and his nether millstone right uh, or you take or both or just one you can't do none okay you can't take the upper it's nether you can't take the upper and you can't take both okay so you can't take nothing at all he needs to eat that's the point Verse 7, if a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel and make it merchandise of him or selleth him, then the thief, that thief shall die and thou shalt put away evil, sorry, and thou shalt put evil away from among you. So you are not allowed to steal the, the children of Israel, which Israel did that and we are not allowed to steal from each other. So um yeah you need to die 
what they have what they do in West Africa for example you have a lot of child kidnappers over there as soon as they catch you you're dead mm. Ten kidnapped children found in no, 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 no. and no, 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 no. no, let me see. Kidnapper. No, 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 Kid, no, no, no. Children kidnapper. Wait a minute. Kidnapper. Wrongly accused. So that's that's also messed up, but the thing is Women suspected of kidnapping and killing girl is beaten to what death? Oh yeah, Mexican City, I remember that. Yeah, wrongly accused. Killed by mob for what? For kidnapping a child. Yeah, wrongly uh, yeah, she, that's why you shouldn't be, you know. It needs to go to trial because sometimes you might, you know, hurt the wrong person. But if you catch him in the act, if they catch you in the act, because I've seen videos on, online. I've seen videos of uh, you know, child, mol child, mol child molesters, you know, men, grown men, touching on little girls over there. And they get, they get their ass killed, man. Uh, there's always a spare tire and some gas <clears throat> and some gasoline is laying around some <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> They, they're gonna find it and, and then they're gonna wrap it around you and then you're gonna set your ass on fire that's, that's what I do but like like in this case you could see that that is not always a good idea you know you need to be sure of what you're doing well I would not uh, promote that you know what I'm saying I was like hey well I'm, I'm I have sin so I'm not I'm, that's why I don't want to kill females that commit adultery I never had that actually because I don't hang around females too much. I never had a lot of girlfriends. You know, I had a few here, there, a few puss here, them puss there, but that's a whole different thing than really going with a girl for. But I don't do that no more, by the way, because it's not good. I didn't know the scriptures back then. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not a good idea to be doing that. It was not really a one night stand, but it was kind of something like that for a few, for a few, you know, a few uh, occasions. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, this happened two days ago in Mexico. I, 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 I do know that. So this is actually scriptural. He, he was kidnapped. He, uh, she was, uh, yeah, they kidnapped and killed a young girl. I think the girl was eight years old or something like that. But yeah, they are. If you are accused of kidnapping in certain parts in Africa, and in this case it was West Africa, the Nigerian is a West African man that went to South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so this is correct. But like Yahushai said, he that is without sin cast the first stone. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare try to kill him. <laughs> I know for sure I, I would I would really want to hurt you, but uh, I would be scared to put you to death because <laughs> I'm looking like oh the Lord, yeah. If I kill her for this, then I I think I need to die for the for what I did, to, you know. So yeah, and uh, then 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 I don't think that that, uh, that if you don't show mercy, then <laughs> it's not always. I don't think it's a good idea then for you to expect mercy too if you don't it, 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 it you know of course you want mercy but did, did you give it John chapter 8 shows you that you know so yeah a female commit adultery on you and just just keep it moving Lord willing she's gonna pay for her sin and uh, yeah that's what's up uh, I'd rather you smack the shit out of her than, than you actually kill her. So that's uh, that's not a good idea, bro. And you live in America, so I don't. I wouldn't advise you to smack a girl. <laughs> you you in trouble. But in certain outside of America, you lucky uh, 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 you don't get killed because uh, yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't do that. First seven, yeah, already read that. 
but then um, these are the these are basically the laws right and then I'm not telling you to do it because it shows you right here Because it shows you right here that Exodus chapter twenty, <clears throat> Exodus chapter twenty-one, verse sixteen, and he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And guess what? Esau stole us, and he sold us, and we are still found in their hands four hundred years later. He shall surely be put to death. This didn't happen. Didn't happen to him. Well, it's about to. <laughs> this one I'm hundred percent backing up. But like I said, don't do it now. That's just being stupid. We are under the punishment of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Once the punishment is done, Lamentation chapter 4, verse 21. Once the, la once the punishment is done, Lamentation 21, if I'm correct, and 22. Lamentation 4, 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Yeah, you Edomites, you caucus people, yeah, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. In, in those days so when they was there the cup also shall pass unto thee yeah what cup the cup of slavery the cup of pain the cup of torment the cup of horror the cup of agony this cup the cup of fury of the Lord Jeremiah 25 15 14 for many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of them also so a lot of people are just making merchandise off of us. They, they, they leech off of us. That's why they're in our neighborhoods. You have the Arab stores, East Indians. You have the, the Chinese. You have the Japanese stores in our neighborhoods. But when we go to their neighborhoods, <laughs> you don't see us, our stores there. Because fuck out of here, Nick. Fuck out of here, goddamn fucking nigger. Or get you out of you nigga. You black beast. Get, get the out of here, you black nigga. Get the fuck. Hmm? So, yeah. Yeah. Fuck out of here, basically, man. You don't, you don't get in their neighborhoods. Because they hate your guts. They hate you. I hate your black gums. No. And I will recompense them according to their deeds. So the Lord is going to pay you back. Don't worry. We're going to rub your skin off of your we're gonna rub your flesh off of, basically we're gonna rub your skin off your flesh man once that time comes like how a lion can lick this the, the skin off of your um here he can lick the flesh off of your skin uh oh did i say it good he can lick the skin off of your flesh that's what a lion can do because he's rough like that right that's what we're going to do. We're going to smack the shit out of you. We're going to slap. Man. We're going to do this thing. <laughs> you might call us monkey. But you're going you to get yourself hurt if you do that. <laughs> oh, boy. You're going to get yourself hurt once you, if you do that. She, she, he ripped the face off of this girl. And she, that's the type of things that we're going to do to you. Once that time comes. But don't worry. Once that time comes. And we're going to be lions. Because the Lord said so. Mac, Micah chapter 5 verse 7. And 8. And 9. It says that we are sheep right now. We are sheep in the midst of wolves. You're the wolves. And the, and the other type of beasts of the field. We're the sheep. But soon we will turn into the, into the lions. And then you're going to be the sheep. And then we're going to tear you into pieces. And then you you saw what uh, Travis the chimp did to the female, right? <laughs> How dare you call us chimp in those days? Oh boy, you're gonna be you're gonna be one of the victims. You're gonna be a victim, right? So Jeremiah twenty five and the rest of fifth fourteen. And according to the works of their own hands, that's how the Lord is gonna judge you. For thus saith the Lord. For thus saith Yahweh, power of Israel, unto me, unto Jeremiah. Take the wine cup of this fury at my hand, and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it. And they shall drink, and be moved, and be mad, because of the sword that I will send among them. Yeah, that's that cup, and you're going to drink it. The Lord, we drank that cup. We was not supposed to drink it, but we drank it. 
was it Jeremiah 49 if I'm correct Twelve. Jeremiah 49 12 for thus saith Yahweh behold they Israelites whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken we did drink but we not we were we was not created to drink off that cup but we did we did because we sinned against the Lord he said it he said it in the book of Leviticus also Leviticus 26 and also Deuteronomy by the way Deuteronomy 28 which is commercially known among the Israelites but Leviticus 26 he says it too Leviticus 26 and 14 but if ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments and if ye shall despise my statutes which we did <laughs> we didn't do, listen either or if your soul abhor my judgment we 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 abstained from it like Ew. Ew, I don't want to do that so that ye will not do all my commandments but that ye break my covenant the word abhor doesn't necessarily mean hate it, it, this is a this is a new definition of the word the word actually goes into if you check out the Latin and the and by the way the Latin and the Greek comes from the um, sorry the Latin comes from the Greek and the Greek comes from the Hebrew so it's it's the Hebrew right but they want to take the, the credit that's why when you go for example to the etymology of words they go as far back as the Greeks often often or they just name other nations where the word comes from like alphabet they say that the alphabet comes from the Canaanites the Phoenicians and stuff like that but anyway alphabet comes literally from from the Hebrew which is Abba uh, father that's that's how you talk you talk because of the but, but but that's I did a video about that so I don't want to talk about it right now but um what was the video again I'm thinking sorry wait right I made a note and I'm gonna put it in the description box so you can check out that video for yourself if, if you have the time right the word um, abhor means ab means away from and horror or horror means to shudder that's why you have horror movies and what do you do when you see a horror movie you shudder at it especially when they startle you or when you see something filthy or messed up you'd be like Ugh. yeah that's shudder or, or this one Ugh. right that's that's how the Lord actually did toward us in in Psalms 100, 106 here Psalms 106 and why did the Lord abhor us wait where is it verse 40 therefore was the wrath of the Lord that Psalms 106 and 40 kindled against his people in so much that he abhorred his own inheritance why did he abhor us well verse 37 yea they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils that's why and shed innocent blood even the blood of their sons and of their daughters whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan and the land was polluted with blood thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions therefore the wrath of the Lord was kindled against his people in so much that he abhorred his own inheritance because he found us filthy like God damn you, this is what you do you're doing just like them I told you I don't like those people and still you want to follow after them that's the same thing right about now you know our people they love Edomites they love them even though the Edomites showing you for 500 531 years right now 31 or 30 32 something like that he had been murdering you left and right he hates you I'll, I'll, I'll show you an example of the great hate wait right now check this out I got transferred to an area, Barnesville, Georgia, that was like being thrown back into the 50s of people yelling the N-word at us to get off their lawn, telling us they're going to get their gun. They still 
on Wednesdays, everything was closed until 2 p.m. in honor of the slave trade. During that time, everything would be closed so that people could go to the auction blocks. What? <gasps> yeah. And so they still honored that all the way in 2013. And it was because that town was a slave town where they would do, like, the railroad came through it. And that's until 2 p.m. there would be auctions. I was just full-on scared for my life, you know. Deuteronomy chapter 28 says that you will be scared for your life. Here. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 35 says that they have a perpetual hatred. It's not going away, man. You can try, you can, you can fuck you if you try, try, try to make a motherfucker love you, man. Fuck you for that, man. For real. You an idiot. Deuteronomy 28 and 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thou shalt fear day and night. And shall have none assurance of thy life. That's what you went through. And uh, she was talking, she was saying this in 2013. We in 2024 right now. But anyway. When I learned very quickly, like, to not go to the houses that had any Confederate flag hanging. It was scary and it was a lot, like, emotionally to deal with. Right. She got transferred there. And it, and it was, it was uh, in 2013, if I'm correct. You got these devils over here. These type of devils. I'll put this link in the description box so you can check out the video of the elder brother, of course. The elder. The elder, the elder bishop, if I'm correct. I don't know if he's a bishop. But anyway, he's the elder. He's one of my uh, many elders. But uh, going on. At Great Millstone, by the way. In America. Who, who teach this word. You know. Go on. You got these devils over here. This filthy ape walking around with an afro. Man, I'm I'm on I'm gonna say some racist shit. Wanna, but uh, of course, uh, you know I, I wait I wait until that time comes. I'll just say this: um, fire is a very good cleanser. I love I love, I love fire. I, I can look at this thing, and I'll be thinking to myself like, man, I can't wait to get you, boy. Like for real. But anyway, let's go on. Not just this thing, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> but this monkey stands out. <laughs> it stays for devils. They want to keep it that way. And that's why I want to keep them that way too. Because it's going to be more beautiful when you catch them in their, in their furious hatred. Once the Heavenly Father gives us that spiritual power. And lets us loose. Loose among them. They're going to run for their guns, man. And that's going to be more beautiful because no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. It's going to be a beautiful day. I pray for this day every day of my life. Nobody will live once we're done. So, And uh, you know what? A lot of them will live. Why? Because we need to get that, you know, put them in slavery, you know, let them work and stuff like that. But the Lord Yahweh Shai said, Everything that I do, thou should do greater and more. So he can he can wake people up back from the dead, even if they were dead for three days. He can wake you back up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. You whoop your ass until you basically not here anymore, and then we gonna wake you back up, and then you we gonna send you back to work. Then maybe your anger would be uh, satisfied for those few minutes. And then you do it all, rinse and repeat for a thousand years. Yes, yes, I said that, I said it. For a thousand years, we're going to do that to you. Every day you're going to die. But every day you're going to wake back up. And we send you back to work again. Go pick cotton. And more things, but, but this is all good. You really see this devil right here. <laughs> and these are females. <laughs> Man, I can't wait. Y'all probably think I'm uh, trying to have... No, 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 no. This is not a sexual thing, bro. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm the, 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 the raging fury that I have is nothing compared to what Yahweh I have, by the way. <laughs> and 
Anyway, she was sent here. But the devils that sent her there, they know exactly what the fuck they did. You see, the people, the government of her school that sent her there, don't you know that don't you think that they know what type of people live there don't you think they know they know their own people man they have registers uh, registry and and census censors this thing they got census bureaus what is a census bureau a census is the produce huh? procedure of systematically acquiring recording and calculating population information about the members of a given population they they know exactly who the fuck lives there yeah let me not cuss too much i'm, I'm angry that's why but anyway sometimes if, even if i'm not angry i cuss so 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 let me not do that basically right but uh, this is the channel that i will put in the description box so you can check it out for yourself right of one of my uh, many elders in uh, America but uh, yeah so right so they hate you they hate your guts and and still you want to look like them why because you're defeated if you you know you defeated you still you still straight in the head but anyway well, enough of that let me go back over here <laughs> but uh, yeah so yeah. so according to their works shall be done unto them that's what i just read in the book of jeremiah chapter 25 verse 14 and the cup the cup that esau is gonna eat drink so it says here they whose judgment jeremiah 49 and the rest of 12 they whose judgment was not the drink of the cup have a surely drunken and our Tao, who's the Tao? the Tao is talking about Esau, Psh, I was looking for it, sorry. Thou, the Tao is talking about Esau, right? And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? <laughs> thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith Yahweh, that Basra, Basra is, uh, is, this, is the capital of, uh, of uh, Edom. It's talking about the whole Edomite nation, whether they be in America or in Russia, because they, they hate you there too. Okay? They hate you there too. Don't get it twisted. So when you see us uh, boasting about, not bo I'm not boasting, well, we're not boasting, but we're, we're talking in your eyes maybe a little bit good about Russia. I'm not talking good about those motherbusters. I don't like them neither. You know? I don't like them neither. So, but we want them to fight each other. That's what we want. Just like how they want us to fight each other too. And, and they got what they want. Now we want we want to get what we want and we will because the Lord said so already He will set up the Egyptians against the Egyptians and the modern day Egyptians are the Edomites Shall become a desolation a reproach a waste and a curse and All the cities thereof shall be perpetual wasted right just like how we are a curse in the world Then what? Daniel chapter 9, verse 12, if I'm correct. 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed my law. And we did do that. We did break his law. Even by departing, we left from the Lord. That they might not obey thy voice, which are the prophets, because his voice, here, verse 10, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord, of Yahweh our power, to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. That's the voice of the Lord. He's not going to come down and talk to you himself. He's going to send down his men. The book of Matthew 22 shows you that. He will send his men to come and talk to you, to bid you to the marriage. Come, come, let's, let's get married to the Lord. Oh, no, I got the better things to do. I'm out here trying to get my career fixed up and stuff like that. I just, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stuff like that, you know? Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Have a nice day then. Because that's why we're on the street talking to you and you don't want to listen. Walking right by the camp, looking at us like, you racist, you hate white people. Really? Okay. 
Uh, what I hope for you is that you meet those devils that I just show you. These type of devils. You're going to meet them. when the Because the Lord is going to unleash these, these, these savage beasts. He's going to unleash, unleash the, the beasts of the field. Along with the Arabs. Along with the with the Chinese, Japanese, and the East Indians, he's gonna unleash the 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 wild beasts of the earth. The the thing. you you wait and you 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 gonna do more than crying in those days. Wait, you think you safe? Cause that's only in America. No, it's not. <laughs> have you seen East Europe? That's why you don't have a lot of Jakes over there, like uh, as in West Europe. Compare compare those two together, then you will see. And in these type of places, uh, these type of places here, <laughs> you don't have a lot of jigs there neither. Where, where, where is it? Here. These type of regions, Esau regions, you don't have a lot of jigs. No, you don't have no jigs over there. I dare you to go live over there and, and trying to be, oh, uh, white people are good, you know, we, we, we're friends. Uh, go, why don't you go, go try and do that dumb shit over there? Show them, you show them your love. See what happens to you. They hate you. But you're going to find out the hard way. Obey voice. So Daniel's in 9-11. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. We are cursed. But we're not a cursed people. But we have been cursed. By the Lord. Why? Because we did. Depart from him. We transgressed his laws. We broke his laws. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, Deuteronomy chapter 28, and also Leviticus chapter 26. The servant of Yahweh, because we have sinned against him. Yeah, that's why. And here it says it too. Lamentation chapter 4, first, uh, the rest of 21. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. He's going to expose himself. His own tongue shall fall upon him. Psalm 64 and 8 says that if I'm correct let me see is it Psalm 64 <clears throat> and 8 yeah so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves all that see them shall flee away when you see their movies you see their cartoons you see their uh, their whistleblowers like Edward Snowden, Snowden Julian Assange he snitch, they're snitching on themselves they're telling their story you know the things that they do you have so many that just rat on them. Uh, whistleblowers, they call them. A lot of them are found dead. You know, but the Most High is causing them to basically snitch on themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Right. As soon as you know these devils, you'll be like, hey, I'm trying to get away from these devils, man. No, have that. I'm not your friend because I've seen what you people doing. You know, you need to learn. Judges chapter 2 and Judges chapter 3. You need to read those two chapters and see that the Lord doesn't want us to be hanging around our enemies. But he's going to test you. Let, let me read it for you. Let me read it for you. And then you need to keep this one in mind. You need to keep this one in mind. For you stupid Negroids that want to, and uh, you know, I love white people. Right. I love white people. Now, can I say all, all Edomites are devils? Well, all Edomites are Edomites, but not all Edomites are actually 100% hate you. But that doesn't mean that just because one likes you doesn't mean that you need to turn your cheeks to the other 999 that want to burn you to death. Or lie. He raped me. What? <laughs> what a joke. Judges chapter 2 verse... Twenty, And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel <laughs> because they sinned again. And he said, Because that this people had transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, which are the prophets, I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Joshua left when he died. So because we didn't listen, the Lord did not take away those nations from in the midst of us in order to be a thorn in our side because they're going to influence you. They're going to do stuff and then you're going to want to do it too. That through them, through those nations that the Lord left, 
I may prove Israel. So he wanted to test us. He wanted to test us to see, are you really going to follow after their doings? Because I know you will. I'm going to test you. No, no, no. <laughs> and the Lord knows. But he still tests us. <laughs> because he did say, there's 7,000 men that have not bowed the knee to Baal. So there's a perfect number of Israelite men that will not do it. They will not follow after the ways of the heathen. But the, the rest, but go ahead, sucker. You're going to die along with them. Whether they will keep the way of the Lord to walk therein, as their fathers did keep it or not. Yeah, to test you. Therefore the Lord left those nations without driving them out hastily. Neither delivered he them into the hand of Joshua. Right, when we went to war with Joshua and, and them. Well, against them, sorry. Judges chapter 3 now. I just read 2. It goes in. It goes on in 3. Judges 3 and 1. Now these are the nations which Yahweh left to prove Israel by them. To test them. Even as many of Israel had not known all the wars of Canaan. This girl. She's shocked. She's literally shocked. She was laughing out of disbelief. Oh yeah. Here, here she says in 2013. I thought I saw it somewhere. 13 and it was because that town was a slave town where they would do like the railroad came through it and that's until 2 p.m there would be auctions i was just full-on scared for my life you know and if they would no. tell you that yeah everything would be clo closed until they're gonna get their gut yelling it was like being thrown back into the 50s of people uh, okay, yeah. my god Sorry. transferred to an area barn who transferred you the devil did and the devil knows exactly what type of people are, de uh, are there. He knows. Let me get it before I forget it. Because I already forgot it. Ezekiel 35 and what? 12? If I'm right. <laughs> yeah, this chapter is good too. This chapter is good too. But uh, I don't... Yeah, this is it. Because I was actually thinking of this one. No. Oh, I think it was 36. 34 is good too. 34 is good too. Mm. Yeah, he's going to do that. Yeah, okay, this one. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end, so our slavery has an end, and they still hate us. And they and they, they want to shed the blood with the force of the sword, but the modern day sword is the gun. Didn't they just threaten that they was going to shoot her? That is the modern day sword. I'm going to kill you. Just for existing. Therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh, the power, I, prepare, I will prepare thee. Uh, sorry, I, I will prepare thee unto blood. And blood shall pursue thee. That's why I said what I wanted to do, Lord willing. I wait for the day. Like I give you the example, fire and gasoline. But the Lord is going to do it for us. He's going to make sure that every single individual American Edomite will burn in nuclear fire. World War Three. So I don't even have to filthy my hands. I will get you in the kingdom though. Heavenly Father said so. But before that, Lord willing, I get that spiritual power. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get unleashed like Sonic. And I'm going to come upon a few of you. I'm going to fall on you. Just like Samson said. Don't make me fall on you, boy. Don't make me fall on you. Okay? With my hands wrapped around your neck. And some more. Some more where, where that came from. Some more stuff. Anyway, so it says here that, where's the Jeremiah? Yeah, Ezekiel 35 and the rest of 6. Sith thou, since, since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Right, because you don't hate shedding the blood of an Israelite. That's why your blood will be shed. And the Lord is not going to have a problem with that neither. Because you wanted to use the sword against the Israelites. And you're going to pay for that. 
once that time comes. But for now, keep on doing your little dumb shit like this. Have fun. Have fun. Um, let me see. Where was I? Jeremiah. Yeah, I think I'm done with Jeremiah. Mm, so, yeah. Back to... Let me see. Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 20. Sorry. Tw yeah, tw chapter 26, verse 15. And ye shall dis and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto thee, unto you. I will even appoint you. Sorry, I will even appoint over you terror. Wasn't she afraid? And this is not just her. She was with a group. Probably a, a bunch of uh, Jake men also. And this is just one place, man. <laughs> There's so many places upon the planet Earth where these type of Edomites exist. You got the lynching over here. You can see it in this little small thing over here. The hanging. Pictures of the hanging. Woman lynched. And it was a few days that, uh, a few days ago, um... Twenty twenty four. He was found lynched. Let me see. No. Yeah, no. This is this is twenty twenty three. This is twenty twenty. Found hang. Found hanging. From a tree. Wait. Oh yeah. I I didn't type it good. I typed this for example for here. I type I type this. So, all of a sudden, Google can't find it. Yeah, whatever, dude. Fucking devil. All I had to do was, was just... Look, look, look. All I had to do was this. Look at this. Everything is the same. Oh, oops. Now it's found. Oh, shit. You couldn't correct me? If you type some sodomite shit, like, who's the best looking trans sex? Man, they give you names. They give you... They give you anything and everything. You know what I'm saying? But uh, with this, all of a sudden, he's stupid found it. Like, he can't fi figure out what you're trying to say. But anyway, a black man was found hanging in a, uh, uh, from a tree. And this was February. We're in March right now. This was last month. Trayvante Jamal. And, and, and I looked at him. I looked at the guy. And... I thought to myself, well, your, your parents didn't teach you, you, you know, your parents didn't teach you, just like that girl, your parents didn't teach you, she got lucky, they didn't kill her, but when I looked at him, I looked at him and I saw his ears, I was like, God damn it, why do you do that hermetic shit, you, you mutilate yourself, you know, it's just crazy, he didn't have it here. And uh, he had a girlfriend. I think his girlfriend was an Edomite or something like that. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, there was another guy, another Israelite uh, young young male. 